On a dry day, you might be walking on a sidewalk that actually has a hidden message right under your feet. And the words are going to show up. Kindness is magic, as if by magic. And this hidden message will only show when it's wet. Here we go. One that can't help but make you feel good. And I would love to be able to see the rain, be upset about the rain, come outside and see something so great where it just puts a smile on your face. It's an awesome like science trick, really. And that's the reaction 22-year-old Peregrine Church was hoping for when he created Rainworks. Seattle and the Pacific Northwest in general seems like there's a higher rate of seasonal affective disorder because of our gray, dreary weather. So I like the idea of taking the same cause of that dreariness, the rain, and using it to create something positive in the world. So how does he do it? What's the secret to his magical paint? Well, it's not actually paint. We use a super hydrophobic coating. Basically what that is, it's a, it's a spray. You spray it on the ground and any part of the surface it gets on, it's going to keep dry. The work first starts in his Fremont studio where he and his friends brainstorm creative and positive ideas to create Rainworks art because they simply don't do negative. We try to keep them positive, funny, inspiring, motivating, or just cool to look at because uh, our goal is to make people's days better. So whether that's by making them smile or laugh or think, um, we'll go about doing it any one of those ways. He then designs the ideas on his computer. Okay, Zach, I need a 48. And prints it out on stencil paper. Next, they apply the special spray that is eco-friendly. It'll last anywhere from two to four months, depending on foot traffic and weather. Wait. There are dozens of Rainworks art installations throughout Seattle, but sometimes there are more serious ones, like here on 47th Avenue Southwest and Southwest Admiral Way in West Seattle, where a pedestrian was killed crossing the street. There used to be a lot more accidents, and I've known people that have been rear-ended. Walk sign is on crossing 47th Avenue Southwest. But now this intersection is much safer. SDOT recently put in new traffic signals and clearly marked crosswalks. They also added this Rainworks installation of a tree that can brighten the day of walkers on a rainy day. It's cool. It's a good surprise and I think it'll be good as it gets rainier. This fits in with the community. It was, com it was selected by the community and it also fits in with Seattle as a whole that it's generated by the rain. It shows up and it has a natural motif and it's just great creative use of the public right of way. Okay, so I think the first bee is going to be here. Bzzz. It's the cheerful messages that caused this new Ages Living Assisted Living facility on Queen Anne to commission Rainworks to install a special message to welcome residents home. Look at that. That's spectacular, isn't it? I love it. Here we go. It's my first time seeing it. I think it's spectacular. It's even better than I thought. This will be this will be really well received. And while most of the installations Rainworks have done are located right here in Seattle, the word is spreading. This blue drop is where we start. They have traveled to places like Park City, Utah to spread more positive art and messages. Now about 10% to residential usage and about like 82% to agriculture. In hopes of brightening more people's day. And that's one way to learn about water. And it's something they plan to do for many years to come. Our goal in the future is to have Seattle on the map as like the hub of Rainworks because this is where it began. But really we want Rainworks to be all over the world. We want to inspire people to create all over the world so that they can make their communities more exciting.
Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.